Today's video is sponsored by Factor Meals. What are Factor Meals? Well, they are a healthy, fresh, never frozen meal that is delivered to your doorstep. Now, what is unique about this is that they can be cooked, ready, within two minutes or less, which allows me more time to do the things that I need to do instead of worrying about what's ready for dinner and the cooking and the prep and running to the grocery store. It's delivered to me. I can get it plated within two minutes or less. Fresh, never frozen. Did I mention that? Healthy meal for you. Now, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code UNSOLVEDNM50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Let me repeat that. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code UNSOLVEDNM50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. You won't regret it. So this morning I got a bunch of messages about uh, my thoughts on this new Zodiac killer suspect who I guess a cool case team called the Case Breakers stated they solved and they know who the Zodiac Killer is and his name being Gary Post. So uh, I guess I am not the foremost expert on this Zodiac case. Um, I think just because I was on the History Channel, you know, show Hunt for the Zodiac Killer that people mistake me for an expert. There are many more experts out there that know much more about this case than I do. Uh, Misty Johansson, she was on the show for an episode with me. Uh, Mike Morford, people like that. Uh, they're the ones to, to ask, not me. I want to say that these are the same group of individuals who had a show on the History Channel about D.B. Cooper, if I'm not mistaken. And they stated that they had identified D.B. Cooper as uh, Lieutenant Rakestraw, I want to say. Can't remember his first name. But towards the end of the show, I think it was determined it wasn't him. Which I thought was odd as that they would actually say that it wasn't him. They made a whole show around it, but then they ended up saying that it wasn't him. So anyhow, my point is, um, I, I never want to ever, ever bash anybody's investigation. And I don't think I ever have. Even uh, with the serial killer, Eddie Edwards, I gave the utmost respect to the investigator. Because everybody's entitled to their opinion. Even me. But I will say, sometimes you start making the evidence point a certain way when you develop a suspect and then making everything fit. I have a hard time with naming a suspect in any case unless I'm 100% sure. I would like to see more evidence. From what I've seen on the newspaper reports that people sent me was that they had a snitch maybe that was leading them, them to this conclusion and that there were some scars on Post's head, forehead, that matched the Zodiac. I don't remember, you know, any talk of scars on the Zodiac's killer's 
forehead. Maybe I'm wrong in that. You know, obviously I've looked at the sketch a million times. And I see what they're talking about, but I thought that was just the natural wrinkle in somebody's forehead. I never heard that it was identified as scars. So to me, unless unless a witness said while drawing the sketch or having the police artist draw the sketch, yes, he had scars on his forehead. Minus that, I would say that that is very weak evidence. And I would have a hard time accusing somebody of a crime, especially of this magnitude, without harder evidence than a snitch and some purported scars. Very skeptical, I'll put it that way. You got to show me more, you know. Also with, you know, what I read was that they were linking this Post, and his name sounds familiar to me. That last name, like on that show that on the History Channel, Hunt for the Zodiac Killer, I feel like we started to go down that road for a scene and something didn't work out that we didn't do it. But, and I want to say that it was during the Donna Lass episodes or episode. So his name must have been out there before. Again, I'm not a Zodiacologist, okay? I don't know all the suspects and all that stuff. Listen, I've got hundreds of cases that I work, and I'm not, I'm not focused on just one like a lot of these people are. So I, I know a little about it. Uh, obviously, I know a little bit more than normal because I did do research for the television show. But to put it out to the world that this guy is the Zodiac and I solved the Zodiac, you gotta have you gotta have a lot more evidence than that. You know? Again, you are he he's passed away, this Gary Post in twenty eighteen from what I've read. But he still has family, right? And those are the people that you are messing with that your implications are hurting them because what if he's not? Now he's forever linked to this gruesome act. If I was doing an independent investigation into the Zodiac, I would not be going to Fox News or any news outlet saying I solved it and this is the guy unless I was 100% sure. And I would have to have some good evidence, forensic, not just circumstantial, direct, physical evidence in order for me to accuse somebody of something this heinous. Now, maybe the case breakers have more information and they didn't let it out. I hope so. Okay? But again, you go to the anagrams and the writings and the codes They're saying in this story that you have to know Gary Post's full name in order to make it fit the anagrams or to understand them. I remember the D.B. Cooper from these exact same people, this organization, making Rake Straw. Yeah, I believe it was Rake Straw. His name fit into the anagram. I've said this a million times. You could put Kenny Maines in that anagram, in any anagram, in any code. You can make it work if that's what you want to do. So if you have a suspect, you can say, okay, let me tie this suspect to this Zodiac code. Well, let me put my name here, here, my letter here, here. If I arrange that, it fits. That's not how investigation is done, okay? Not saying these people done that. I, I don't know. I looked at their roster briefly. A lot of former FBI people. I have a hard time believing that their whole roster agrees with this theory that they have or that this suspect is the Zodiac. You can't get 
you can't get 12 people to agree what color the sky is. So how are you going to get them to agree that this guy, especially the weak evidence that I'm seeing, okay? Freaking messages all the time telling me that they're, they know who the Zodiac Killer is. And, and all of them support it with evidence that fits their suspect. Case in point, the code. My suspect's name fits in the code. Well, so does 14 other people. So you, you can't rely on that. If you have other evidence, DNA, that backs that up, and then that name fits in the code, well, okay, now we got something, and we can start rolling, you know, that way. But without that, I don't know, guys. I would have to see a lot more evidence on this Gary Post than what was reported to the news outlets. So, best of luck to them. Again, I hope this case breaker team uh, has the right guy. I just would hope that they have more evidence than what they're saying because you don't want to ruin this guy's legacy. You don't know who he is. You don't know who his family is. You know, so unless I knew 100%, and again, Going back to the D.B. Cooper thing, you know, they were, like, this guy, whoever it was on that show, I think his last name was Colbert, he was dead set that it was this guy, this guy, and his partner, I think, was Billy Jensen, um, who was like, eh, I don't, I don't see it, and then they came to the conclusion it wasn't him. I hope this ain't the same thing. You know what I mean? You hate to do that to anybody. When you're an investigator, you have to have investigative integrity. And to me, that means ruling out everything until you know for sure. And if if you're not sure, that's okay. But you state that. Hey, I have developed a new Zodiac suspect based off of this, this, and this. That's all you have to say. That is a hundred thousand times better than saying... This is the Zodiac Killer, when you don't have the evidence to back it up. Yeah, let's talk about...